hello? You should be back. Right? I think I am. Uh, right. I need to readjust my microphone a little bit because I bumped into it yesterday and it, uh, plopped it out of its place as a result. Anyways, hello, welcome to another train stream. Where today we are continuing on our beautiful main line. Continue the work of stream a little bit, and uh, I've added the catenary on this piece of main line all the way to um, all the way to the turn. I've added the embankment here, and I've done the terrain on this side of the tracks as well to um, to bring it in together like this. A little bit of work has been done. Now making uh, this here a little bit nicer. I wanted to make the water crossing the tracks again be a bit more unique. In the shape and form that's doing that. I figured that having it split across three bridges like this would be uh, quite nice. Fits nicely. Beautiful. Oh yeah. Hello, Paradise. Welcome to the stream. Welcome indeed. Happy to see you again, sir. idea of how what I want the water to do over here I think I might make another part of the lake you know, kind of bigger over here like this yeah I think that would look quite nice needs a bit more water in this part of the left route <laughs> Listening to Train Fever soundtrack today again. Continuing from yesterday. Hello, VGRN. Hello, Kango. As well. Nice. Welcome back. Sorry, I'm late for it. Oh, that's okay. Train Fever is still continuing. Love the job. Yep. Hey, Train Fever didn't have the ability to terraform water. Immersion broken. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely, sir. Totally immersion. Much immersion, much broken. I like that. Alright. Running along 
the water like this. It's so nice. But anyways, that's the terrain taken care of on uh, this section. It's pretty much these. What's that? Nine, twelve baseboards, roughly, uh, can be finalized. So let's get to it, shall we? I'll start with the around track details. Flying grass here next to the tracks. The bit more grass on these areas that I know there's gonna be definitely a lot of you know, grassland and maybe bushes and stuff forest on basis it's not gonna have any uh, trees uh, any field sorry especially in like this cutting and stuff Island here, and continuing that on this side of the bridge. I'll still have to do the textures. Under the on under the water as well. Just under the sea, only it's not the sea, but still under the sea. <laughs> 20,000 leagues under the sea as well. Ah yes, good old grass plants. Yep, seems like not even now the rivers can replace them. It can, it absolutely can. But the reason why I'm using them is because mixing uh, grass plant and turf effects together gives it that bit of a more interesting feeling and makes it look better. Entire Central Europe Mini is done that way, as a mix of turf effects and grass plants. 
because it works so well together. Especially when the assets are properly made. That's also why I'm not placing uh, any grass plants further away from the tracks. Because that's, uh, that's gonna be only turf effects. Because the way it works, it makes it look much, much better. Because grass plants in the distance, they don't necessarily look good. But the way turf effects works, it looks good no matter where you put it. Also having to keep in mind the fact that the next game is gonna have different tree system and different grass system again as well. So yeah. It's gonna be interesting to see how that compares to turf effects and how it compares to just using splines. I think it's gonna be better than new clutter 2.0. This time the left in the dark ages max can will be able to actually render as well Clutter 2.0 On top of that they want they would like to uh, get rid of the regular multiplayer and just make everything work as MPS kind of thing ah, but yeah good luck with that none of the none of those two things mentioned work MPS or normal multiplayer. So I really wonder if they're gonna be able to make anything work. But oh well. Whatever. But one deep duck point <laughs> You know the say if it works don't fix it. Yeah, but if it if none of it works, then you only can fix it. <laughs> the long distance was in the one league. It was three nautical miles. <laughs> BRB bag just in time for big boss. Let's go. <laughs> Literally, I put on my headphones. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I do think it's good that they are overhauling old systems. I just hope that it'll actually, you know, work. <laughs> yeah. Watch them look behind a bubble. Absolutely. Definitely. Definitely gonna be a Trans Plus feature. No doubt about that. Enter we fucking uh, EA fight itself. Or Ubisoft fight itself. What else is another terrible gaming company? That does stupid shit like this. Nintendo fight it. So. <laughs> no, they are, they, no, they haven't done the Nintendo stuff. They're not taking down shit for at random yet.
I'm top of having to pay seventy thousand dollars. Yep. So what was it about? Sorry. Uh, just the new clutter and stuff that Entry is developing for the game. In the replacement of turf effects and multiplayer and some other stuff for the next game. And Nintendo even found out about all the user made Nintendo related Kongan Gears mod Steam Workshop and they are now taking it all down. Yep. Now it's basically pre advertising for the company. Why I prefer to be like Mutaha than buy digital copies of games? Missing for those troll. Oh? Either way, Nintendo didn't really help its face either. But troll posing as Nintendo, they even fooled Gary Newman. <laughs> the biggest bullshit of this all is the fact that Nintendo is capable of doing something like that as well. Bushes, bushes, wonderful my bushes. Funniest thing is that I'm nowhere near done with them either. There's so many more of them. I was announcing the stuff was gonna get removed in the latest human news post. No, there's such an aesthetic OST. <laughs> in VGR meant that someone in person is in yes. They want to label serial so now things are getting removed. Yes. But 
know exactly what's going on. I think. But actually go and find out is if it is like that. Hold on. Yeah, okay, it's a troll indeed. What did that? Some kind of guy named Aaron. Apparently known as a scammer. Wonderful. Why is he not in jail? America. I see, so the creator of human still hasn't found out though. Probably did, I don't fucking know. Mm. Okay, whatever. Just touch go. Hi, welcome. What's your idea? To fiddle around with motor elves and stuff. Also keep it English. I would like people to understand the gibberish that is known as Czech.
It's such an interesting design. <laughs> but it works. Which characters? Oh, they don't go away accidentally. <laughs> yeah, don't shoot yourself. It's not fun. A lot of people have recently bought Forza Horizon 4. Me, Dostachko, Svedar. Hans as well. Hopefully in the on the weekend, all of us together. It's still on sale right now. Only 20 euro for the ultimate edition. Because the game is being delisted from Steam soon. So, get it while you can. I'm sitting in the UK, yes. The graphics of the roads are just a bit too wide for my taste. It's the only thing that doesn't look UK. Yeah, it has to be a bit wider because, well, it's a racing game. And to proper, properly race, you need wide roads. So essentially, they're all designed like racetracks. Why do you list it? Probably running out of copyright for the music and stuff and the cars. So they're like, yeah, here, have it while you still can. It's on sale right now. The sales ending soon, but the game itself is being delisted probably in autumn, I believe. But yeah, if, if you want it, you have like last few hours. So yeah. sale end. And in four and a half hours. Okay. 15 December is when this will be gone. Okay, I see. One is the Cosmos and one the other Cos KB shot. Both names are uh, play on anti-copyright code and the name. The Dino Different authority there is. Hmm. But yeah, sale ends in four and a half hours. So if you want it, grab it now. By the time this video is gonna be archived on YouTube, it's gonna be late anyways.
But yeah, we've all got the ultimate edition. Having fun so far. Racing is around this my sort of thing. But you're having fun though. Mm hmm Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Not everyone's thing, but yeah. Just wanted to say it out. I don't know if you guys had an idea that it was on sale and stuff. I'm placing all these bushes down, but I'm not even sure like what kind of scenery I'm gonna actually like put in yet in specific positions along the tracks. I don't want to accidentally end up <laughs> deleting some of them. I'll have to be more careful with copy pasting forests and stuff. I need to design a new forest copy paste for for me for this route. Three is what I call my fictional truck manufacturer. The three fifty three, yeah, thanks. Mm -hmm. I guess Forza Horizon Four is pretty much the opposite of Madrana in terms of gameplay. <laughs> yes, that actually stands for. Yes, I'm gonna, now I'm just gonna, gonna try that. Gotcha. Which would more or less translate it to Dad or Mom and Clan. Mm. Bushes, at least some of them. There's still a lot more to play, especially these bigger ones. But uh, yeah, I think what I'm first gonna do is get the textures done in the areas. Before getting down to the trees and stuff. Um, 
Oh, I need the road here. Gonna make it go through the forest. That'll be better. That's nice. It works. There's another storm coming. You can hear the thunder in the distance. Oh man. Depending on how bad it gets, I might have to cut the stream short because the thunder gets so loud that you can hear it in my microphone, and I don't want to uh, have that kind of thing constantly interrupting me. This is the last one in the playlist as well. Alright. Now the transport fever afterwards. Like, I remember I've used another field texture. Yeah, this is the one. This is the one I've been searching for. Keeping a bit of distance from the water as well, because I will place down some more bushes there. 
make it feel appropriate and alive, you know. This is already a lot of fields. I like that. I'm gonna make a forest up on this hill. Probably gonna also do a forest area over here. I feel like that would be more fitting because why would you why would there be a field here, you know? So Gonna be a forest over here. Strawberry peel. <laughs> Do you guys like strawberries? Very nice. They're very good. This OST track honestly sounds like something out of World of Second Trials. <laughs> it may be fun to mix the two games OSTs together in a playlist. <laughs> yeah, and mixing Trap for Fever 2 as well. Why not?
this part over here to the line with the forest on the top. Parts of the soundtrack, uh, the keyboard is like kind of like muted a little bit in the background. It gives me this weird um, Soviet uh, Luna Park kind of feeling. I wouldn't call it nostalgia because I wasn't alive in those times, but you know, probably the same. Love him, love strawberries, yay! <laughs> Personally, not familiar with the OSTs of Transport Fever or its sequel. Yeah, same. I've not listened to any of them. I don't usually listen to in game music when playing a game anymore. I usually just play my own. It means I tend to miss out on some good stuff, but. When the good is just like trying to find a needle in a haystack, then you know, am I really missing out at that point? That with uh... hmm. you're gonna put just uh, trees in there. Barely heard them myself. How about you? Do you like strawberries? Yes, yes, I do. In fact, I've got several of them planted in the garden. So, yeah. I've heard of this before, but it's interesting. Luna Park. <laughs> yes. Pretty much just an amusement park. Same board, essentially, same meaning kind of thing. I haven't heard of this before, it's interesting. Apparently, many were called that. Yes. Many theme parks. Yes. Amusement park, theme parks, just typically referred to as Luna Parks. Don't know about the rest of the world, but uh, uh, Luna Park is something that is still is sticking around. Especially in the post USSR countries. As far as I can tell at least. It's 
some places it's not really used that much anymore, like in my country for example, but it does appear from time to time. The fuck was that cut? I gotta say though, I don't really think this soundtrack is uh, my kind of thingy to listen to right now. What about this one? It's all in like the same style, it doesn't really change as far as I can tell, hold on. Not sure. How about this one? Yeah, okay. What about you? This is better, more of the style, I guess, like... Kinda like this more, but... I don't know, it's like it's missing something, you know? Sure. I wonder what uh, they have to do with the moon. Maybe the parks you visit by the evening for the time when the moon might be out. The moon also appears this sometimes. I think it's something. I think it's something that's got like the game too, the music. Hmm. That's normal for the time, but yeah, okay. I'm hitting it lots. Hmm. Way to go jukebox at the jukebox. Hey, how about the e Euro Track 2 menu team? <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Hold on. First Luna Park, let's see, because I'm now intrigued, I wanna find out why it was called like that. Created a wildly successful ride called the Trip to the Moon as part of the Pan American Exposition at Buffalo, New York. The name of the fanciful airship, complete with flapping wings, that was the main part of the ride was Luna, Latin word for the moon. Okay, I see, so that's where it comes from. The airship in the park that was subsequently built around and may have been named after Dundee System this morning is Luna Dundee Newman. Hmm.
Interesting. So, yeah, okay. I see. Essentially, it had to do with the first ride. In the park, a ride to the moon, and it's just the park spawned around it. Interesting. And yeah, it's just the one in Coney Island, that's the one. Yeah, but I do think it's great. The train fever of the only really works the background music I find with the main activity you're focusing on besides the music. Okay, it wouldn't just listen to it on its own. Yeah. Then maybe it's just me. Maybe it's a reference to Monopoly. Yeah, though the question is why that was called Monopoly. Hey, that isn't terrifying at all. <laughs> no, I mean, I just read it out, like, why it was called, like, it's not known whether it was called after that one girl, uh, Luna, or because of the first ride that was called uh, Ride to the Moon with the airship that was called Luna. One of those two. But my guess is that they had the airship name and they were like, hey, it's the, it's the only attraction we have, it's very popular. Let's call the entire amusement park after this, you know, why not? So essentially Luna Park in the beginning was just the name of the amusement park itself, apparently. The fact that many others are now referred to as Luna Parks uh, pro probably has to do with the fact like, oh hey, it's an amusement park, but we don't have the afford amusement park yet, so let's just call it Luna Park, I guess, because it's like a knockoff of that. People come here to have fun, get drunk, and ride some attractions and stuff, you know, with families and stuff. My guess is that's like why it's uh, stuck around. Usually it tends to be like that with things. First one is named and then just keeps it worldwide. Probably something in like the same style as uh, some country names have to do. Because, uh, for ex like, for example, Finland has, you know, several names depending on the language. It's like three different names that are like shared randomly around the world. I believe there's Suomi, there's Finland, and there's probably one more that I can't remember. The same goes for. Uh, Netherlands and Germany as well, essentially. Because, yeah, you can call it Germany, you can call it Deutschland, but you can also call it Niemcy. <laughs> you know, three different names for German. And like derivatives for different countries from that naming as well. So. Probably the same factor is why some stuff is still called Luna Parks. The first one was that. I'm guessing. And maybe they were all like inspired by the Luna Park in uh, New Jersey. I mean, like with the attractions and stuff and expanding a little more. Or like specifically themed for something, I don't know. But that that's my guess. That's my two cents on that. <laughs> Whether it's correct, anyone's guess probably will get corrected someday in the future, but who knows? This is the rolling theory I'm going with. <laughs> The 
things are same things. Germany, Germania, Geramium. Geramium. Geronimo. It's coming out relatively nicely, I think. Not too bad at all. Damn. Lines over here. Might as well cross it here. No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna fill out these triangles. so far. I'm going to create over here, make that a forest. Just have to tree by it. Yeah, I'm so bored. Oh, it's not my fault. All right. Uh, I'm gonna keep this hill for us for later. I'm gonna do the this area first. Along the tracks. Bitcoin trees and stuff. It's started raining now, I think. Yesterday the storm got so bad that the stations were losing power. The dispatchers couldn't see the trains on the boards. They couldn't announce any kind of delay because they didn't know like how if the train would even arrive. There were so many fallen trees on the line. The trains into my city stopped running completely because from both directions the path got blocked by trees. Very windy, very stormy yesterday.
Listen to some awesome fantasy sci-fi music and let the creative flow into the into a new project. Yes. Why do you sound like Chat GPT? <laughs> it's just GPT was trained excessively on my Twitch messages. <laughs> you sir sound like a robot. <laughs> yes. Here's the god blue skies as the way. A scattered smattering of clouds. Hmm. Fun. Hey, at least the air here is getting nice uh, with Bab. So nice to breathe fresh air for once. only one single tree I said but it looked so much better already. I wish the fucking rulers would disappear as well. <laughs> Need to get rid of them in the end. Well, I could just do this. Ah! Plane! No. I'm not interested in plane. Only one single or three assets so far, but it already looks fucking brilliant here. Damn. Oh yes, all the way I meant. Smooth sunshine. Oh, you have smog issues where you live. No, not necessarily smog, it's just that the air is not nice and fresh anyways. It's not visible smog, but still. Fucking hate the pollution. Spoilers? What do you mean spoilers? The plane's not gonna move, it's just there to be parked because there are more drivable planes than there are static planes. It's not gonna you're not gonna be able to fly around the map. Don't worry. That is not being a thing. Mainly because it would have to be a loop like in that uh, city map from Trains 12. So, yeah, there's no real destination for the planes. It's only gonna be static this place at the airport. Just trying to add planes and it would just unnecessarily complicate things. On a relatively tight schedule, anyways, already so. Really, only the important stuff is uh, the priority stuff now. Little details can come later. Until then, don't expect any drivable ships, don't expect any flyable planes or anything like that here. Time for that. 
much as I would love to design something like that on this route, uh, I don't, yeah, not gonna happen. do this replacement with all the other assets as well, all the other three assets. I'm gonna firstly place them down and then I'm gonna move them around to uh, not really block the tracks and stuff. Or as in, there's gonna be planes on this map. <laughs> face cam, please. No, nope, not doing any face cam. I mean, it does make sense. A static plane usually does not earn money <laughs> unless it's in a museum. That's why I said usually. Stream plus imagination equals stream with face cam. Ah, yes. <laughs> this boy's so cute. No, absolutely not. Uh, 
Right. Slowly but surely we're getting the trees done. <laughs> Trace in the cutout area. Just like that. That's really nice. <laughs> kind of doubting if I should even add more trees, but I need to mix it up even more, a little bit. Cause still missing some variations of the trees. Place them in closer to the tracks. These other ones, the remaining ones. because I still have to design the copy-paste forest for the in-between locations. So there's gonna be all of them mixed up. So are you planning on having an airport in a new German section of the map? I've already shown it. It's not new. I've shown it on like at least the previous three or four streams. Yes, there is an airport. I believe I've even built some of it on stream, not even not even sure. But it's definitely been known for a while that there is indeed an airport here. It's like fleshed out. There's an idea behind it. There, we know what's gonna be where on that airport. It's been a thing for a month, even more, honestly. I did show it yesterday as well, and the day before. I didn't like fully fly around it from like oh wait this is precisely here and that but like when I was talking about the route showing some of the areas I did go 
to the airport as well, rotated around it, talked about how fun and interesting it was to build it. And then other times you usually just fly past it because at this point it's not just like, yeah, that's known. Especially, I was expecting you guys would know about it, as, uh, especially. Do you just like not remember or? So I completely missed that. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Looks great. Yep, there was plenty of pics on Discord too. Guess I've been living under an airport for a month then. Yeah, I was surprised you didn't catch any of them. Actually, because like... I've been sharing uh, them and I've been showing them. So... That's why I'm like just completely taken aback right now. Like, you didn't know about it? What? <laughs> I mean, I would expect a new person to not know, but all right. Because of the amount of trees, you're never gonna be seeing another train down on the main line like this. No, <laughs> absolutely not. It's completely blocked. But you're gonna be seeing it in winter. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of branches in the way still that are gonna impede your view, but I think it's gonna be easier to spot anyways. I like that. and this one and this one and this one and this one and that one I'm not design the transition between the forests like this that works very nice There's a cat on my window. Is he hungry? No, it's only half past three. He's definitely not hungry. Probably just wants to hang around.
made it cross nicely. You can see the water here and there. I like that. transition a little bit so these trees to fill out the gaps a little looks slightly better yeah I like that all right continuing on Alright, did we do this track? I think we did, right? Yeah, looks like I did. Alright, nice! I did check the some German chat quite often, but since there's a lot of chat between screens, I'm not sure scroll past them. Hmm, no idea how I pulled that off, but apparently I did. There it is, yes. 28 5, yes. <laughs> An entire month indeed. So, quite ironically, the airport sailed right over me. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Fair enough. No girls going away from the towns need to connect. Um. Not necessarily, no. I'm, I'm using the forest and stuff to hide them ending. They don't necessarily have to connect. As long as there's like some kind of resemblance of uh, unity or continuity, it's uh, okay pretty much. Doesn't matter at all. You know. Just gonna pretend. <laughs> Some places don't even have a road connection. So yeah. <sighs> Just looking around right now because... <laughs> use any of the other bush objects I'm not sure how to feel about it I'm probably gonna do that later on place some more bushes around it's a lot of tracks 
There are the small bushes, but... You know what? It's a lot of clicking to do. But you know. Might as well. Getting lazy. <laughs> Crossing a rail monopoly, yeah. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> New Zealand, comma. Let's get rid of that comma. about it's just a uh... oh I was like it's just a random airfield in New Zealand and I scroll out it's fucking England god damn it I've been <laughs> I've been lied to <laughs> This is where they <laughs> film a lot of Lord of the Rings, as you say that in your channel and not in the chat. <laughs> Will the airport also get a monorail? No. It's gonna get an S band. That's good enough. Don't need to get all the gadget bands and other other stuff in there as well. If this was Australia, maybe I would bother with a monorail, but really there's no need to go like all the special stuff like this. The most important thing is uh, getting the route done, you know. All the secondary stuff can be thought of later, done later. Like there are plans that Hans has for a narrow gauge line. A little uh, AI trains only narrow gauge line on the map. There's also a plan for trams as well, to be uh, AI only as well. But both of these things are like, hey, firstly, let's finish the main route and then we can put in these things later. You know? And who knows, maybe like when we get to it later, we might as well make it player drivable. So who knows what's actually going to happen, how it's going to end. But I highly doubt anything like that is going to happen. Having drivable trams or drivable narrow gauge on Century or Mini. Very, very, very unlikely. I would say damn near uh, impossible to happen. no point in having that so no
why spend the time and effort on it when there are more important things to do? Let's go to the classic. For the remaining 15 minutes of the stream. back here again. Nice. Mm. Oh, that bomb. He didn't know the S-bomb was planned. Mm. All regular carriers had monorails, they had a steam powered launch system that had a piece running on a track that pushed the plane down the runway on the deck. Uh, modern aircraft carriers still have the have that. It's not steam powered, but there is still launch mechanism for taking off. They have not gotten rid of that. In fact, the older ones didn't have it when back in prop plane times. <laughs> so the S-Bahn will be AI only, right? No. The S-Bahn runs along the entire main line, it's drivable. The S-Bahn is the station at the airport. This is gonna be the S-Bahn. I run along through the station, through the yard, past here, through this flyover. It's gonna be running here along the entire uh, track. It is gonna be player driven. Another station. There's the big station. It's gonna be a high speed line to the left, and it's gonna be a standard or an extension of the S Bahn line to the right here this way essentially some more stations down this way so but it is the s bahn is gonna be player driven such a wild sector the sector you can see the steam in that one Yes. Oh, that is that one. Yes. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, it's so neat. Are all the town names thought of and done yet? Yes. Courtesy of Hans. He was the one behind the naming schemes on the towns. I need to put in a fence in here.
nice. Now the other side. have a seaside town I would have suggest if you would have a seaside town I would have then good town to the story hmm then good hell hmm yeah no we don't have any seaside towns Nor downside seas. Ah! No. This works. This is nice.
that's nice. All right, let's finish this off and we're gonna end the stream as well. Bit too many trees in here, so I'm gonna both delete some of them. Gonna make things only better. It's also a flirt tree, I want. I don't want that flirt. Um
Yeah, this is the thing as well. <laughs> that one. Okay, I see the flight issue. Oh no, the two trains, they can hit themselves. Where's the fucking thing? Be gone. Seriously. Good idea, terrible execution. to a modern classic yes <laughs> but yeah let's take a little drive through the new areas shall we i'll just across the entire route that's uh across the entire route that has scenery Apparently, so I guess. Oh, yeah, let's go. Just drive, indeed. <laughs> Bing! <laughs> I'm surprised that the Hounds have put only an 80 on the uh, upcoming area. Fully thinking that he would keep it 100 all the way. No, I'm not gonna be stopping at the station.
Can I hear you imitating AWS? <laughs> Oh, bitch, sorry. <laughs> All right. Let me see. <laughs> No, you will not get the ride back. <laughs> so nice. <laughs> What on earth kind of sorcery is that? Alien invasion. Oh no, hello Mr. Snipes. <laughs> I did a scenery at first. Germany. Wait, what happened? Sorry. Hello. When, where, what? Nothing? Nowhere? You're yeah, so nice. <laughs> Indeed. Deutsche Bahn AG. Was the, those floating pins. Oh! <laughs> no, don't mind that. The sound on these things is so low.
incredibly quiet. I missed quite a few pictures and being objects. I think so. Alright. Should be good now. Could put a door there. Uh, no, not gonna do that. That doesn't fit at all. Station F is taking control of this train. Hmm. You see my door message. He has no I have. Are German trains famous for yelling at you though? No. That would be the British trains. So the British trains they screech. Oh, is it me or does the grey skirt on the floor tray go further up than on other units? No idea. Yeah. The one thing wrong and the train throws a fit. Trains him at least. FB, pieces bees. Bam, this one. Quick, press the button. Yes. Stop your slipping. Why is there a 140 on this line? Hans, we agreed on 120. God damn it. 
Oh well. Yes, I speed. Oh, drag. What? Piece of automatic assumption needs to calm it down. I like that. So far. It does seem to go quite high. Grace curve. But yeah, whatever. <laughs> Don't really mind anything like that. Seems to be more interesting in it than anything. But yeah, it was a nice little test drive. Looking at the scenery that we've got on the, la on the line so far. And yeah, I like the work that we've done today. Still gonna have to do some texturing stuff and uh, remove some of the trees on here to um, not have the forest be that populated because there's uh, performance issues screaming at me. But uh, yeah, I just want to get this dries. Very, 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 very lovely, very nice. Yeah, but yeah. Anyways, thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Have a wonderful morning, evening, day, night, afternoon, whatever, whenever, wherever you are. And I hope to see you next time. I don't know when that's going to be, probably next week. But, uh, yeah. Gonna do the remaining scenery on this side of the tracks. And then slowly move up further. Probably to this town, but I'm not sure. We'll see. Either way, thank you everyone. I like that parking area, good name. Felt super authentic. Sorry about the airport. Yes, but are you sorry about <laughs> a wonderful day, night, thanks. But yeah, looking, out, looking forward to how this extension will continue to unfold in the future. Yep. <laughs> See ya, everyone. Bye. Bye.